Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Starflight. I'm the Mysterious JG. This is still awesome DOS mini music right here, folks. This is the kind of music you can only get on an IBM compatible or an Amiga. Possibly a Tandy or a Macintosh. I don't even know if this game was available for Macintosh. So all you like Steve Jobs fanatics out there can like start boycotting this LP now. I think this might have been only for Tandy, IBM, and uh, Amiga. Yep, we. All right, folks. In the last video, we, uh, to my personal surprise, found Earth. Found Earth a lot earlier than I was expecting to. I thought I already logged this planet. Yeah. Same deal with Venus. So, what do we want to do? Do we want to land on the planet? I suppose we could. I don't really have any uh, specific coordinates that I need to, to go to, though. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, put that off. And uh, I want to head back to um, 125... 100. Let's see what the fastest way to do that is. It's probably to. Uh... Well, actually, you know what? There's something else I wanted to do. Uh, I I'm looking to put myself in a position where I can off-screen mine a bit uh, again, because I'm kind of annoyed that we don't have all the stuff that we could have. So I want to go to. I'm going to show you guys. This is. Um, I can't bring this into where you can read it, uh, the uh, address. But this is a, a page from starflit.com, S-T-A-R-F-L-T.com. S-T-A-R-F-L-T was the command you used to type in DOS to actually uh, run the game. And uh, they've given... Uh, this is what I did off camera to get us to the point where we had level 5 engines and stuff. I went to 217.88 Planet 4. I hadn't really realized this before, but um, that's actually really close to where we are. I must have been flying back and forth without using this uh, flux capacitor thing. But uh, 217.8, or maybe I wasn't using 217.84 that much, but I think I was. Because it says here that this uh, has ancient ruins and curio artifacts. I did find a lot of them there. It also says that this is the old empire's primary mining planet of Marden IV. And I'm now remembering that the Marden system is significant, and I kind of feel like we cheated a bit. Uh, because there is stuff to be found, but I'm going to try to, um, just so that we feel like we earned it, I'm going to play around uh, and go to various sources of information within game, and wait until we actually know where the Marden system is, or somebody tells us, before I just start going and, and grabbing whatever it is got to get. I think it's Marden 2 is the planet that has plot stuff on it. I don't remember. Martin Ford is not. Um, it just has a lot of cool stuff you can pick up for monies. Uh, but you can, uh, rec uh, I think, uh, colonize it. So we might as well uh, recommend Martin Ford for colonization and then get back to... Um, yeah. So it's 217.88. We're going to go there. We're going to recommend that for colonization. And that way you'll have seen the planet. And off screen, I may go do some more mining there after a video or two. I'm going to record a video or two tonight, and then I might go do that the next time before I record. In part because I got some new movies in that I'm watching with the Rift Tracks, and I like to have a little something I can do in the window. Uh, it's a little window of a game going uh, sometimes while I listen to Rift Tracks, Mystery Science Theater, that kind of thing. And uh, people are already complaining that my Final Fantasy party is overleveled, so yeah. But anyway, 217.88. So let's uh, go to 217.88, which is up here. Let's take a look at planet 2. We won't land there, but this is a planet where we can do stuff, I think. But we'll scan it and see what it's like. Uh, it has no oxygen, so this planet isn't actually one that we could settle on. I think it used to be uh, habitable. But planet four of this system should 
should be some place where we can settle. Nitrogen, oxygen, water, 0.7 gravity, frozen surface, subarctic to temperate. So this one is almost too cold, but there are going to be places where you can live. And we're going to recommend it, and we're going to call it Marden 4. And then we're going to get back to Starport, grab a bunch of loots from recommending planets for colonization, maybe buy some more fuel, though we don't really need to buy more fuel. And um, I think what we're going to do next in order to start picking up more clues Like, we know now where Harrison Space is, but I have yet to find anything to tell us why we would be looking for Harrison Space. So I kind of feel like we should uh, hold off on that until we actually know why Harrison Space is potentially important. We also never found out exactly where Heaven is, and that kind of annoys me. It doesn't seem like a... Uh, well... They said it was the fourth. I think it was. I think we have their the Meccans telling us that it's the fourth world of their system. So this, I think, this is the system that they're usually guard. Well, this doesn't have four worlds in it. So let's like search around these systems here. This one does have four worlds, so if this planet is colonizable, this should be heaven. That's not going to be colonizable. That's a gas giant. 13.6 times Earth's gravity. Yeah, I don't think this is heaven. Let me call my name when I saw you in heaven. I don't know the words of that song. I'm probably getting it wrong. And now, I f now I feel like I'm playing Aerobiz in North America. You know what? I was going to suggest that after we go to Starbase, we talk to the alien race that I believe just showed up. I is called Sixive, and our supreme commanding of captain of greatest ship, Vufetru. Perhaps we are a communicating happiness, peaceful, and not completely obliterating inferior aliens, the trespassing. Immediately responding, you're welcome. Friendly. This is Captain Avatar of the Starship Dev Devon 7. We are on a peaceful exploration mission. The U aliens is trespassing in our the space. Most gracious grossness of August Queen, perhaps forgiving if you are pay a tribute of three Earth energy crystals right away by Jove. Agreeing? Yes. Not trying the funny stuff, alien trespassers. Superior Veloxi are the most powerful. Let's switch posture. I think we remember... Somebody told us they responded well to Obsequious, didn't they? Am I, am I remembering this from years ago, or do we actually have this somewhere? Either way, we'll try it. If you is showing proper respect for distinguished Vlaxite charming them, everyone is happy and bivalve as bivalve mollusk, happy as a clam. You see. Please do not blast us into atomic particles. Take pity on us who are not fit to grovel in your waste products. Superior Vlaxite Majestic, our oldest empire, one hundred thousand years the long time. Assuredly you is barbarian upstart infidel. <laughs> Question General Info. We beg you to honor our poor selves and bestow upon us a pearl of wisdom. We are long time receiving old empire distress call from system 17594. Of course, Veloxi could caring less. 17594, sorry. That's probably the planet we already stumbled across. Are you alien part of old empire? Uh, yes, I guess. Sort of. You is cooperative with Veloxi, Jim Dandy, and maybe we as nice guy, they're not killing you. 17594 is probably the place where we already found that distress call. 
Uh, we just stumbled across it without the hint from the Biloxi. We humbly suggest that we would be interested in any little thing you might wish to tell us. Most extreme important system of Veloxi Grand Lovely is guarded by Veloxi drones, the most destructive. All must answering questions correctly. Okay, we did meet a, a drone that asked us numbers with a question mark afterwards. And it was in this general area, so we're probably in Veloxi space. We beg you to honor our poor selves and bestow upon us a pearl of your wisdom. Enough of the talking. Communications have terminated. Yeah, I was going to suggest we go talk to the Veloxi, actually. But I wanted to... Um, Oh, I'm chasing them. I want to be walk moving away from them. I was going to suggest we talk to the Veloxi, but uh, they're probably the next... Now that we've got all the info we're probably going to get out of the Meccans, they're the next guys who are potentially a source of useful info. This might be heaven. I'm pretty sure it's the fourth planet of the system. And I'm this looks more like it. Nitrogen, oxygen, water. Exactly one times Earth's gravity. Temperate to searing. Orbit number four. Yep, this has got to be it. Heaven. Then I saw you in heaven. Have any other interesting clues about the heaven system? Third planet of our system ruins, but our system is... I wrote that down as a clue, but by our system, I think we mean the system that our um, home base is on. And there's a huge fleet of ships, but they're pretty far away. Probably should be doing a little bit more uh, exploration of these systems, but I'm... We recommend we logged a lot of planets, so I'm kind of in a hurry to get back to to Interstell. Now, if we log planets that are coreward of here, and they haven't already uh, flared, then are we really doing the uh, are we really doing any favors of humanity? <laughs> Evaluation. Recommendation 2. Name Earth. Evaluation. This planet proved to be suitable for colonization. You have earned a bonus of 35,000 mews. But nobody seems to care that it's Earth we found. Venus. This planet proved to be suitable for colonization. You have earned a bonus of 40,000 mews. So apparently Venus is a better planet to live on than Earth is now. Plan okay. Now that we've got the happy sound, good work. You have located an optimal planet. You have earned a bonus of 50,000 views for this recommendation. So Marden 4 was apparently super planet. And Heaven, also super planet. Excellent stuff. Notices. You're about to bar embark. Uh, abort. Embark. Abort. Abort. I just want to see if there's anything new, but... I don't know how we can skip to next. Ugh. Next. So you know where's my money, Borno? Scientists have ascertained that the cause of the the instabilities in our are external to the star. We compiled a list of some of the fluxes. I think we've seen that one. I like qualified female thread, we've seen that one. Borno, we made the regular a Regulon 7 on the 15th, you know where. One of our ships reported that Thrin have offered to buy artifacts artifacts from them at inflated price rates. We urge you not to do this. Inasmuch as it may further relations with them, this is understandable, but we do not wish to sacrifice what we might be able to learn from these artifacts. End of notices. Exit. Let's see how fat our pocketbooks are with the... Uh, Interest, interest, bonus, 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 bonus. Bring your dog around, I'll give him a bonus too. We now got 289,000 monitor units with which to equip the Devon 7. Named, because, named the Devon 7 because there's not enough room for twitching torpedo. Um, that will certainly allow us to buy the best shields available. 
We've already got the best armor available. Class 5 shields. And... Oh, we can get Class 5 lasers now. Excellent. We're low on cash, but now we've got everything except the Class 5 missile launchers. Which means any more mining I do really is just going to be killing time uh, while I watch Rift Tracks. Because um, between uh, the mining that I did to get us the Class 5 engines and armor... And all of those planets that we found, that was a very profitable outing we just had. Um, like I said, folks, the Marden 4 was a bit of a cheat because I used uh, Starflit.com to find the mining planet. Uh, so recommending that was a bit of a cheat. Um, and But Heaven was fair game because we, we worked through how to talk to the Meccans and we got that out of the Meccans. And then the Meccans... Well, really, we just we lucked into Earth, uh, and we found New Scotland, uh, fair and square. Although New Scotland, I don't think we were able to recommend as a colony planet, but we we uh, found the final coordinates for probably uh, Harrison's base. But we don't the game. We haven't gotten around to finding out who Harrison is, so I'm going to try to hold off until we know. <laughs> Now, as long as we're going up to talk to the Veloxi, um, the Velox, Velox territory, hold on, let's take a look at the map. Oh, I accidentally got the 3D version going. I meant to get the 2D version going. This is just going to make things more confusing. It looks cool, but it's going to confuse things. Um... Uh, This is the version of the map we want. Okay. Here's Arth. Here's the church. Here's the steeple. Open the door. Yeah. What have we found out? Well, Heaven was like here somewhere. I'm pretty sure it was over here somewhere that we found that distress beacon. The Veloxi would have told us about it, and we've come across the Veloxi telling us about it, but we'd already stumbled into it ourselves. So the Meccans are kind of, they're not shown on the map, but they're kind of patrolling around here, protecting this colony planet. Uh, acting on clues from them and just the general information that Earth was going to be core word of here, we found New Scotland up here, Earth and Marden 4, which we recommended for colonization, were over here. We ran into Eloans while we were down here, which has led me to believe Eloans must be here, Thryn must be here. The staff, like the cross-shaped staff constellation, I think we've got clues telling us the staff constellation is Gazertoid territory, which suggests the Gazertoids are here. I don't know how we met them this far over here, but we did run into Spemen. I'm pretty sure the Spemen are here, and the Velox, or Veloxi, are here, because we ran into the Veloxi while we were up here, and also we ran into one of their probe droid drones circling a planet. So without actually meeting... Well, we've met the Elo and the Veloxi and the Spemen. Spemen. And I'm pretty sure it's Spemen, Veloxi, Eloan. We haven't met the Thread, the Thryn, but I'm pretty sure they're here. And the um, Gazertoids are probably here. Which means that all of this, and if we could see the map a little better... And this was the map that came with the game, folks. Uh, you can't tell which which uh, species is which because they use like this sort of... this alien style of writing to... to but you will be able to tell by looking at the map that this this, this, and this are all owned by the same power. You can tell that because the non-Roman symbols that are here are actually supposed to be the names of the races, probably in their own languages or something, I don't know. But these are the same for these four. So you can logic your way to knowing that these four are the same. And uh, these four, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just have to assume, based on what we know about expansion outward... It's either the Spemen or the Ga uh, the uh, Ulek. I think it's the Ulek. So we've basically, I think, logic our way to figuring out what these are. Velox, Elo, and Thryn, Gazetoid, Spemen, Ulek. And everything we've heard suggests we don't really want anything to do with the Ulek or the Gazetoid. We've met the Spemen, and they seem to be all bluster. Um, but what I want to do now is... The Thryn and the Elo are down here. Having uh, a member of either race in your crew makes difficult makes it difficult to relate with either of them because if you're friends with one the other one doesn't want anything to do with you and i think we need to get information out of both to really track down all the secrets of the game 
But uh, the Veloxi don't give a shit about you having Thrin or Elon on board. So I think we'll go ahead and take our Thrin communication officer, Gene, with us to go talk to the Veloxi to make sure that we get the most out of communications. All right. That being said, let's get back to the game. Captain Avatar, Science Officer Zhuge Liang, Navigator Great Khan, Bo will be our engineer. Let's give Gene a chance, because he's got 250 against 200 skill for millennia. So we'll get Gene in there, and the Doctor will continue to be... Well, Spar is a better Doctor. Damn it, Jim, I'm a plant, not a Doctor. But we haven't actually really needed a Doctor yet, so... We're probably okay with Dr. Rembrandt. I don't like the idea of having a Speem and, uh, Thrin and an Elon on board at the same time. I don't know if they will get along, necessarily. Meanwhile, uh, we did pick up some elements, that's true. Oh, no, we didn't. These are all repair elements. I must have already sold our other elements. Well, let's analyze some stuff. Flat device. This device will protect a shield. Okay, we already need that one. The ring device. I think we already know what this does, but we'll spend 500 mu to get it confirmed. Uh, from what we've seen, this thing should tell us where um, fluxes are. This is an ancient ship navigational aid. It will identify any nearby continuum flux. Excellent. The rod device. This appears to be the device of the old empire that projects an enhanced laser shield around a spaceship. Wow. It's expensive, too. So does that mean we don't need to have our own shields or and the wee green blobby and the whining well, the whining orb has something to do with uh communications, but the wee green blobby we can sell. And we found the wee green blobby on New Scotland, so that's uh appropriate. And uh the bilateral and the fungoid. And I don't think we really need to get more fuel at this point, so Let's get back to our exciting adventures. Launch. Mars, where we've we've been to Mars, rod device, we have the rod device, minstrels. We haven't come across the minstrels yet. So, yeah. Part of it's just getting lucky and stumbling into the solar system, but I feel like uh, we're making much faster progress in this game than I expected. I'm really trying to play this game fair and square and not rely too much on things I remember from playing it before and uh or the fact that I've got access to the hint the the hint book uh, as a PDF because uh this game is actually this game has a huge amount of territory to explore but it's also a game that you can win relatively quickly if you know exactly what to do I mean, the idea is that you have this huge universe to explore, to go find individual hints. But if you know exactly what you need to do, there's really not that many things you need to do. Anyway, we are going to fly... Fly me to the moon, let me look upon a star. Something, 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 Jupiter and Mars. What are those little red spots? Somebody's trying to find us, but red spot on the map was a star. I was thinking maybe it was a flux. Is they're supposed to show up on the star map now? Take a quick look at our uh, JPEG here. This area here is the Lox territory. Those three little stars there. Yeah, we're oh, we're kind of on the border between the Velox and the Spemmon. Well, if we don't feel like dealing with the, I want to deal with one race at a time. So let's uh, let's get into Velox territory. I'd hoped. Let's see who we've got here. Yeah, that's the Velox. Our buddies. Hail, O mighty ones, masters of the universe, we bow to your wonderful magnificence and ask that you do not harm our insignificant selves. We as Veloxi the everyday, I being Captain Zhuzhu of the exceptionally pleasant vessel Puto, now perhaps the information exchanging. 
The alien, the you aliens, is trespassing in ours the space. Most gracious grossness of August Queen, perhaps forgiving if you pay tribute of three Earth energy crystals right away, by Jove. Agreeing? Yes. You are probably think Veloxi is too smart. No wonder. All Veloxi are exceptionally cunning in the brain. We humbly suggest that we would be greatly interested in any little thing you wish to tell us. Explorers is finding the many interesting lives on planets in 149133 system. Veloxi is study. Too interesting, I think so. 149,133 system has life. I don't know if we care about that, but I'll write it down. This may be something we already know from elsewhere. Not trying the funny stuff, alien trespasser. Superior Veloxi, the most powerful. Yeah, they're pretty territorial, aren't they? We beg you to honor our poor selves and bestow upon us a pearl of wisdom. Certainly a most perfect number is precisely six. Valaxi are known this absolutely, a sacred number of ancients and, of course, the six legs. Six. Yeah, it makes sense. Insects would be into the number six. They are bug aliens. So many minerals is finding on molten planet of 149133. Especially the many at biggest mountains. Minerals is always more the mountains, of course you know. 149133 Molten Planet. Minerals. Probably don't really care, but I'm in the habit of writing all these clues down now. We beg you to honor our poor selves and bestow upon us a pearl of wisdom. We are a long time receiving old Empire Distress Call. Yeah, we already got that one. Give them one more chance to say something new. Because I think it does start repeating before it's out. I think we didn't actually hear every single thing the Mechans have to say. Most extreme important system of Veloxi Grand Lovely is guarded by Veloxi drones the most destructive. All answering questions correctly. All must be answering questions correctly. Okay, we already got that. So ask them about themselves. That's one way to suck up to them. Seek with posture and questions about their own great selves. And they don't give a crap, and they won't talk to us anymore. Fine, be that way, Veloxi. We'll try to get away from you as rapidly as possible. We're being scanned, but we just... I thought we just left the encounter. And this is uh, eating into our fuel reserves, this thing with them constantly. Although, I just had a thought. 143, 115... No. Oops, that was not what I meant to do, actually. Well, let's check these planets while we're here to see if any of them are suitable to colonize. I was trying to head back to the planet where we found the uh, Veloxi drone, because it just kept asking us a series of numbers. Wait, is this heaven again? Huh, 0.5 gravity, liquid, very thin atmosphere, temperate to searing, calm... got oxygen and water. I think this one might be colonizable. And we'll call it... Uh, well, it's really close to Veloxi territory. We'll call it... Um, Veloxland. Now watch me, I think forgotten something important, like it's full of fire-breathing monsters or something. I don't think we were told to come to this system for anything. This one's obviously not going to be suitable, but hydrogen cyanide, that sounds wonderful. Do not accidentally click land, JG. That would be game over. There's no fancy, exciting graphic or anything like that, which is why I'm not bothering to showcase it. But you land on a, ga a gas giant, you just get a little message down in that, that bottom central window there where it says orbit established. Now it just says hull destroyed, game over. That's what you get if you land on a gas giant, so don't do that. Okay, no oxygen. 
So we're not going to worry about that one. Basically, I'm just wondering if we're going to come across any planets with those probes on them, because I think I know how to get past the probes now. No atmosphere. Nice, nice club, but there's no atmosphere. <laughs> yeah. Drink specials are good, but there's no atmosphere. Boom. <laughs> Nitrogen, oxygen, water. Very thin atmosphere. Arctic to, Arctic to tropical. This one's an even better planet. Super Veloxaland. Or Super Veloxaland. Cool. The recommendations are adding up, folks. But what I wanted to do, and before we end the video here, is go to one of the Veloxi drone planets. 143.115, I guess, is where I need to go. Seems like there's a drone. They, we were told that there's a drone here, or we encountered a drone here. Unidentified object. It's got class 5 shields. Its weapons aren't armed. Please don't kill us, oh mighty unmanned Veloxi probe. We think you're an unmanned probe. Why don't you uh, give us a little clarification on this? Respond. I did. Three? Here's what I'm thinking, folks. Is it the number divisible by six? Three is not. 42? 42 divisible by 6? 36 plus 6 is 42, yes. 69? Woo! Sexy, sexy, 69. Sadly, 69 is not divisible by 6. 48? I think 48 is divisible by 6, isn't it? 36 plus 6 is 42, yeah. 53? No. 54? Yes. Permission to orbit granted. Communications have been terminated. Rock. That's what it is, folks. Six is the holy number of the Veloxi, and when they throw a bunch of numbers at you, you must determine whether or not they are divisible by six. Scan this bitch. It's got oxygen. It's got water. 0.55, very thin subarctic. To, I think we can recommend this one, too. Log planet... Planet 666. <laughs> yes, folks, what better name? But we have a clue. I don't remember exactly where it came from. I think it must have come from the Meccans. That there's something at 28 north, 4 east on this planet. So let's find out what's there. 28 north. I got to take better notes because uh, as we go after this, I have no freaking idea. They must have said something about just a generic message about having found ruins or something. But we'll certainly go here and see what's going on. Twenty-eight north, four east, okay. Oh, well there we go. A black egg, a message, a ruin, a man, a plan, a canal, Panama. Reconnaissance report to offensive headquarters at 56 North, 116 West on Marden 2. Well, okay, well, there's our coordinates on Marden 2, the planet that I feel like we've cheated, but we do know where Marden 2 is. It's a bit of a cheat, though. Well, not even a bit of a cheat. It's an absolute cheat. I got it from starflit.com. So maybe we'll hold off on following up this lead until I have some reasonable uh, knowledge, some kind of clue that would have told me where Marden system is. Anyway, to offensive headquarters on 56 North, 16 West on Marden 2. Fighting between the Velox and the Gazertoid is still heated. We have been keeping a low profile and... And I'm no longer selecting this window. 
out of habit, I've been uh, recording these. We will also the black egg this item is not analyzed. Black eggs are pretty important if memory serves. But we got the coordinates for another one, didn't we? I think we found some coordinates for where there's a black egg. There's supposed to be a black egg. Uh, black egg. Oh, black egg is a planet bomb for one thing. And there's supposed to be one at 238, 189, 52. Yeah, I definitely remember that you need a black egg to win the game. And I, uh, but I, we've got at least two that we know where they're at because we just got one. folks well I think maybe we should call it a video here um, give me just a moment here yeah I want to call it a video when we come back uh, I guess my thought was that we were gonna go try to chat with the Velox and get some more information out of them uh, but now I'm anxious to get back to Starport and find out whether all those planets I call I recommended for colonization I'm feeling really lucky I don't remember it being this easy to find planets for colonization but we found like three one of which we knew, since it was guarded by a Veloxi drone, I'm not that surprised that it turns out to uh, be habitable, because it's obviously something where we had to solve a puzzle to get to it. So that's kind of, you have to earn that one a little bit. But the other two we found, probably not optimum planets, probably not going to get you the full 50,000, but there's still a nice chunk of change for your pocketbook. At any rate, folks, I want to slip back to, uh, to our home base, find out if those uh, recommendations uh, took and uh, then probably track down the Veloxi and chat with them some more and uh, try to get some more useful information. Anyway, folks, um, this is Mysterious JG. I want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, when we come back, we are going to do the things I just talked about. See you then. Bye-bye.